so this was my officially my fourth time sailing learning to sail uh it's so much fun it's just awesome can't believe i haven't done it sooner but uh anyway this was supposed to be a uh, very windy day it was windy had it at say 13 to 18 knots wind for the day and i went online and i looked uh, to see like what is this boat capable of Cali to Capri 14 2 like what kind of winds can it take and a general consensus seemed to be like 15 to 20 knots for someone with uh, experience with the boat and an experienced sailor so <clears throat> I am not experienced but I figured why not um, let's see you know how much I can take you know if I get in a situation, can I get myself out of it? Um, you know, how's the boat going to handle? Um, all that good stuff. So, you know, people generally say about sailing, you know, the only way to learn is to go out there and do it. You know, get yourself in these situations. You know, nobody wants to sail in a storm, but it seems like everybody's wound up in a storm. You know, that kind of thing. Or, you know, nobody wants to sail and winds too fast for the boat. But, you know, it seems like everybody's gotten stuck in a gale or some kind of, uh, you know, unforecasted uh, increase in wind. And, you know, changes your whole day. So, you know, maybe this wasn't the boat for that. But I decided, hey, well, you know, what the hell. Let's go out there and uh, see what happens. And <laughs> a lot happened. So here, I get hit with my first gust of wind. Uh, previously, uh, the clip before this one, I had to run up there and fix the sail. One of the battens got weirdly hung up on the uh, lazy jacks. And also, it was kind of hard to control and I realized that my centerboard was up. <laughs> so I had to you know, put the centerboard down according to uh, my my point of sale, which I've been becoming more and more conscious of having my centerboard in the right position at all times, because it really does make a difference. But um, this big first of many big gusts came here, and it actually completely stalled me out. And I struggled with that a lot this day. So I'm finally cruising on here at a nice clip on a, uh, a beam reach and I have the main pretty powered down. I mean it's let out pretty good and I'm still moving at a, at a pretty good clip. Um, <laughs> and watching these videos over and over, you know, I keep telling myself I got to get myself a tiller extension. I got to get myself a tiller extension. I'm always reaching forward at the end of my fingertips to grab stuff in the front of the boat. Um, so anyway, I'm cruising along real nice. There hasn't been any gusts in a while, though I've been watching out for them. And now I'm starting to feel a little, uh, <laughs> like, hey, maybe I should take the jib out now. What could go wrong? I mean, we're already, we're already in a lot of wind. Why not? You know, um, one of the things that I've been meaning to do that I just haven't gotten to don't ask me why I already bought the line for it and everything is the uh, the line for my jib furl when the jib is out the line only comes up to the mast so it has a little loop on the end and I hook it on a cleat but it should be longer and there's been times where it's going off the front of the boat, off the side, and I gotta go out there and reach it. And, and you know, it's not, you're not always, especially by myself, you're not always in a good position to just run the, and hang off the front of the boat to grab a line. And uh, sure enough, coming up, when I pull the jib out, I lose the line for the roller off the front of the boat. And now I'm thinking that was a mistake.
that sucked. You know, what, what made that worse was the the roller furler from the jib getting stuck on I don't know what. I think it was the angle I was pulling the rope in and, and, and it just didn't like it. I've since changed that line. <clears throat> I plan on adding a little block or something closer to the deck so it can actually pull straight into the drum instead of on an angle. Um, so now that that messes over with, <laughs> you know, the more I watch this video, the more I start to think that ah, that wasn't that big of a deal. I should have just, I should have just, you know, let the, let the gas out of the main and, uh, you know, rode out the jib a little more. And, uh, you know, I kind of panicked there a little bit because the seas were getting a little rough. And, boy, when that sail started flapping around, I mean, that's just such a terrible sound. You know, it's like, Shh. Please don't tear. <laughs> so, anyway, <clears throat> this next clip is from the following week. Um, it was a fairly, it was a nice day, but uh, after I'm done with the wing on wing clip, coming back, it was pretty rough. So I just decided to drop the sails and motor in and. Uh, wound up running out of gas <laughs> before I got back to the dock. Literally five seconds from docking, I ran out of gas and the current pulled me back down the channel. So from that point till redocking took a good 20 minutes. So <laughs> enjoy. boost. So it's really rough out there today and on the way back it was just too shitty to see. I mean it was bad so I had to motor in. Well, full tank of gas, full tank of gas to motor in. There is the dock and I only have my jib out which should be enough. So let's see if we can make it. See if we can do it here. You know, the channel's real narrow here. <clears throat> and it's, it's, it's very shallow out in this area, so uh, there is some motorboat traffic, so I feel like uh, that annoying sailboat guy 
if there is one, blocking the channel up with some, like, uh, scurrying, hurrying, trying to get the sail up as quick as I can to get out of these people's way. <laughs> We're gonna make it. Hell yeah! We're sitting right straight for the top. Attack one more time, we're not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. I should make it this pass. Yeah, I'm just, I'm pulling on that left side. I ran out of gas right before I got up and the current took me. I had to raise the sails.
Fucking yeah, oh. Uh. Hell yeah. Let's try not to lose it. Let's try not to lose it. Thought my hands were freezing until all that excitement happened. Biffing the boat up at the same time. Alright, I gotta go. See ya.